Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import fonts into Affinity Designer just using the iPad. You start by selecting a font you like and downloading the files for that. If you already have the font and the files, you can skip that part. You can find a lot of fonts online, for example, on websites like 1001fonts.com. When you download fonts, you have to make sure that you have the right license type. As you can see here, all the fonts that are marked with the red tag are just for your own personal use. When you activate this button on top here, only the fonts that are free for commercial use are shown. Make sure you know what kind of license you need and always double check the license of the font so that you're on the safe side. After you check that, you can download the font that you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose a retro font style. The files normally come inside a zip folder, so when you have downloaded the file, you have to click on it to unzip it. After you are done with that, you can open Affinity Designer. Here you want to open the settings and then go to the fonts menu. On the button left corner, there are two buttons. You want to click on that with the cloud symbol. Here you then navigate to the location of the font and click on the OTF file. After you have done this, the font style is installed in Affinity Designer. In my case, the font has two different styles, the normal one and the 3D one. You can install the second style in exactly the same way as you installed the first one. After you are done with that, you can use your font inside your project. To try it out, I'm just creating a new file and write some sample text. When you now go to the Choose Font menu, you can see the font that you just installed. In my case, there's a blue arrow on the right side. This shows that the font has multiple styles that you can choose. Now you know how to import new fonts into Affinity Designer. I hope this was helpful and have a great day. See you soon.